this video we are going to talk about a product and the clients linked to those product hello i am jagan i am posting this video to share my knowledge in sql with you if this assists you in your interview preparation anyways i will be happy in this video we are going to discuss a simple sql statement we are having a product table which has a product id and a client id a client name linked to those products and how much revenue we are getting through those uh, client okay let's uh, create a table here so the table name is grouping customers and we have a product id and the cust client name and the revenue okay now the question is if there are more than one client connected to the product then display the count of customers else display the client name okay so with this data select so uh, from grouping customers okay let's disable this so in the grouping table we have three clients for product 101 and we have four clients for product 102 and one client for three and one client for four so based on the question the output has to be for 101 we have three clients for 102 we have four clients and three and four since we have only one we have to display the name of the client okay so this is the question now see uh, how we are going to address this so as i said whenever you get a question from the interviewer better you understand the question clearly get the clarify uh, questions with the interviewer then you explain them how we are going to address it and then you proceed right so that's the normal process we just see with this question what should be the uh, clarification questions you ask and how are you going to approach it i am going to start with my approach so what I am going to do is, I am going to group uh, the number of clients for each product and then check if the count is more than one, then you do the count. If not, you do the name. It looks so simple. Let's see where the tricky part is. Okay. Let's uh, disable this. Okay. So the basic SQL is going to be select from grouping customers. So what are we going to get? We are going to get the product ID and the count. Right? So since we are doing an aggregation, we are doing group by product ID. That is the one. Okay. First call. So if you see the output for 101, it's 3, 102, it's 4, and then 3 and 4, it's 1. Okay. So we are getting what we are looking for. So 3, 4, 1, and 1. So for 1 and 1, we have to bring the name, if not the count. So how are you going to do it? <coughs> So with this count, we are going to check case when the count star is greater than one, then you do the count star. Now first do only the row one and two. Okay. So for one and two, if it's more than one, you get the count. Three and four, we are going to address it. So what you are going to do? Do a else statement. Else let's see i'm going to talk about the catch here okay so it's going to be the customer name right client name i'm hard coding the value okay i'm not calling the column name i'll show you the reason now so if you see this if i hard code a value i get the client name so instead of hard coding i have to bring the actual column that's what the intention is. 
what happens if I bring in the client name here? It's going to throw me an error. The reason is, it just says the group by is having a non-aggregated column. That means count star is an aggregated field and the client name is not an aggregated field. Right? So we are combining two different sets aggregation with non-aggregation so it's throwing an error so how to fix it just put an aggregation on top of it max min anything will work so now i'm treating the second column also as an aggregated field since it's only one value you put max nothing is going to change okay so we are going to get the value so simple <coughs> only thing is you have to know how to handle an aggregation with a non-aggregation field right okay now let's talk about the windows function here we get the answer it's good but let's see how to handle this kind of data sets in a windows function so you know what's a windows function right so it just operates only on the data which is showing up on the extra let's see <coughs> Let's start with a simple start. Okay, let's have this equal for reference and then we can do the Windows function. Okay, so we have count star and then we do partition by product ID as count. <laughs> when you run this, it does count the client names based on the product ID. For every product ID, it will reset. So 101, 102, 3, and 4. So what I'm trying to explain here is what are things you should not do when you're doing a Windows function. So first thing is, I haven't used the group by function here. We use count stars, an aggregated function, but I haven't used the group by. So what happens if I use a group by function here, group by one? So previously, when you do group by, it will take the product ID and do the aggregation based on the product ID. So based on the column one, it do the aggregation. The same thing if I do here, you see, everything becomes one. The reason is, you see 101, the output here, all three are having the same value. 102 all have the same value so when you group when you use the partition and group it will take this first it will execute this and then it will go for the group by okay so you get the distinct of values so don't use a group by function here okay that's one and basically the windows function the syntax is over partition by a column and then order by you can just say revenue okay so what happens if you use a count star and do a revenue if you see this it behaves like a rank function one two three one two three four one one so it's not doing the count it order by the revenue and then doing a rank function let's see how the rank function works okay the same here instead of count i do a rank for rank we don't need the star <coughs> see the count and the rank behaves the same so whenever you are doing count make sure if you need the order by okay so if you see this count behaves like a count and then the second becomes a computer rank right? this is a better way and the rank function now we play around with the data and then see how the rank function is going to work so instead of uh, 3500 i am duplicating the value so two customers are getting the same value okay let's do this 
let's drop the table and update it but it's very easy to drop and recreate it okay okay so now if i run the count and rank you see one two three and get one one three and four right so there is no two here because both the values are having the same data 2500 okay so 2500 is one and then 3000 4000 so in my previous video i talked about something called dense rank so when you do a dense rank you can fix the skipping of a rank so one two and three right i can post the link for the video which we talked about uh, the rank and the dense rank and i can make a new video which explains only about the windows function okay hope this helps thank you